please explain the case where an electron becomes a free electron and leaves the atomic orbital. There are three major ways in which electrons can become free electrons outside of atomic orbits. Photoelectric effect. The photoelectric effect is a phenomenon in which the energy of light causes electrons to escape from atomic orbits. When the energy of light exceeds the binding energy of the electrons, they are released from the atom and become free electrons. Thermionic emission. Thermionic emission is the phenomenon in which electrons are released from atomic orbits when the temperature increases. As the temperature rises, the kinetic energy of electrons increases, allowing them to surpass the binding energy and become free electrons. 3. Ionization. Ionization is the process in which external energy causes the separation of atomic nuclei and electrons. When electrons are released from atomic orbits due to external energy sources such as electric fields, heat, or light, they become free electrons. These three cases are collectively referred to as electron emission. The photoelectric effect, discovered by Heinrich Hertz in 1887, involves the ejection of electrons from a metal surface when exposed to electromagnetic waves. Hertz was conducting experiments related to generating waves using electric and magnetic fields when he observed the emission of electrons from a metal surface due to these waves. The photoelectric effect is used to measure the binding energy of electrons. If the energy of light exceeds the binding energy of electrons, they are released from the atom. Therefore, by measuring the energy of light, one can determine the binding energy of electrons. Thermionic emission is the process by which electrons are released from atomic orbits as the temperature increases, leading to an increase in their kinetic energy, which allows them to overcome binding energy. The discovery of the thermionic emission effect is attributed to Jean-Charles Athanase Peltier, a French scientist, in 1879. Peltier observed the phenomenon where, when two electrodes were connected to a metal surface and one electrode was heated, current flowed from the heated electrode to the other. Thermionic emission is utilized for converting heat into electrical energy. A thermionic generator is a device that employs the thermionic emission effect to transform heat into electrical energy. Ionization is the process in which external energy causes the separation of atomic nuclei and electrons. When electrons are released from atomic orbits due to external energy sources such as electric fields, heat, or light, they become free electrons. Ionization was discovered by Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, a German physicist, in 1885. Röntgen observed the phenomenon where electrons emanating from a tungsten filament generated X-rays as they passed through a glass tube. Ionization is used to alter the properties of materials. For example, ionizing a metal can enhance its electrical conductivity. The emission of electrons from atomic orbits leading to the formation of free electrons is responsible for various phenomena. The photoelectric effect is applied in technologies such as solar power generation, thermionic emission is used in thermoelectric power generation, and ionization finds applications in X-ray generation, among others. In addition, when electricity is applied, doesn't it become free electrons and move? Yes, when an electric field is applied, free electrons become mobile. Electrons carry a negative charge, so they accelerate in the opposite direction of the electric field within the electric field. As these electrons accelerate, they lose some of their kinetic energy when they collide with other free electrons within a conductor. However, since the electric field continues to act on them, electrons keep accelerating and moving. This phenomenon of free electrons becoming mobile when an electric field is applied is known as electric current. Electric current is used for the transmission of electrical energy. It's important to note that not all electrons become free electrons and move when an electric field is applied. Electrons in the outermost orbits of atoms can become free electrons, while those in inner orbits are more tightly bound to the atomic nucleus due to the electric field, making it more difficult for them to become free electrons. Therefore, when electricity is applied, the magnitude of the electric current in a conductor depends on the material's properties. Materials with a higher number of free electrons allow electric current to flow more easily, whereas materials with fewer free electrons, such as plastics or glass, are insulators and do not conduct electric current effectively. What about the voltage difference? Voltage difference is the electrical potential energy difference between two points. The larger the voltage difference, 
the more energy is required for electrons to move from one point to another. Voltage difference is measured in volts, V, which is the unit of voltage. One volt represents the voltage difference when one coulomb, C, of charge gains or loses one joule, J, of energy. Voltage difference is used to generate electrical currents. Electrons have a natural tendency to move from areas of higher electrical potential to lower potential. When a voltage difference exists, electrons flow from higher voltage, potential, to lower voltage, creating an electric current as they move along conductors such as wires. Voltage difference serves various purposes. It is essential for the transmission of electrical energy, operation of electrical devices, and conversion of electrical energy into other forms of energy. Voltage difference can be generated through various means, including power sources like batteries and generators, static electricity, electromagnetic induction, and more. Voltage difference is a fundamental concept in electrical circuits, as without a voltage difference, electric current would not flow. Even in cases where electrons become free electrons and move from atomic orbits, a voltage difference is established. When electrons move outside atomic orbits, they lose their electrical potential energy, resulting in a difference in electrical potential between their initial and final positions. Therefore, it can be said that a voltage difference is established even when free electrons are created and move due to the application of electrical force.